Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. Today I've got that Ratty Mauser back out. This is the one that was having such a tough time with the Yugoslavian 8mm ammunition. And I think it has more to do with the rifle. So there are going to be some parts upgraded in here. But what I'm going to do is shoot some commercial ammunition to see how it works. If this thing will even get going with that. So it's some PPU. I think I've got some 200 and some 196 grain bullets. And we will give those a try. On a side note, this K98 fired the Yugoslavian ammo without a hitch. I was down here shooting with it some yesterday and just did fine. So we'll get loaded up and try to take a few shots. So this is the PPU 196 with soft points. And we'll try one round before we load up a full magazine with this stuff. pretty well. I'm going to go check the target just to see where it's hitting and I'll be back and we'll try a full magazine. So now we got five rounds. I'm just going to hand load these instead of using a stripper clip. And we'll see if it can go through a full magazine. And after that, we'll probably shoot this one with some of the Yugoslavian ammo. So this one works fine with commercial ammo. It just doesn't like the Yugoslavian. Now what I've read, the Yugoslavian ammo has a very hard primer. But this one, knock on wood, didn't have any problems with it yesterday. So what we'll do is we'll get this one loaded up, shoot some of that Yugoslavian ammo, and see how it does. So here's our Yugoslavian ammo. This is dated 1954 from Factory 12. And we're going to load up five to start. And I'm really hoping that this is going to run through this, this other K98. This K98, in fact, is one of the ones from Yugoslavia that was captured after or put into use after the end of World War II. And there are even some Waffen amps still on different parts of the gun. So it was pressed back into service by the Yugoslavians after the war. And I'm not sure how to pronounce this, if it's Preduce 44, which I think that stands for Institute 44. Other than that, I don't know that I've found a date on this. 
but it's been a good rifle. In fact, this one used to have a side hood on it, but that has been knocked off somewhere in the process of use. So the Yugoslavian ammo is full metal jacket. I'm not even sure what the grain weight is on this. But SG Ammo had it for a decent price, so I picked up a few of them. We will load it up and see how they work today. So we moved down a little closer because we're getting an awful glare from the sun. It's about oh, 4.15 or so, so the sun is sinking low and losing light. But anyway, we've got the Yugoslavian ammunition loaded and we're going to give it a try. So there, it seems to work very well in this rifle. Hey, we appreciate you watching. If you like what we're doing, consider giving us a thumbs up and a subscribe.